This is Coe Free with RobinHoodsPlayground.com. I'm going to do a quick guide here how to unlock your light on drive if it locked up after doing the erase. First, I want to offer a big thanks to Commodore Forever and the whole Team Jungle for all y'all hard work. All of us out here really appreciate it. Anyway, you locked up your drive after you erase on your Via. So what you have to do is get in to DOS Flash and flash it with DOS Flash. The first thing I'm going to do is go through a couple of the steps real quick of how it happened to show you where it happened and then go from there. You've got your port. Mine's DD60. I'm on COM5. I'm using a Connectivity Kit Pro running a USB over to my computer. I've got it all hooked up to the computer and it's on. Alright. Let me open the drive. You've got your drive open. Then you closed your drive. Cut it off, of course. Close it halfway. I usually go about two thirds. Turn it back on give it a second now at this point you want to get your key so you click get your DVD keys you click get key it's in the drive it found the key it's wanting you to save it so I'm just saving it here on my desktop then the inquiry file the identify file you save all three of those then you jump over to firmware tools load from dump files, click that, you put in your key, your inquiry, and your identify. That's okay. Then you want it to build your dummy. I just put it in the same place. Puts all that information in a dummy bin, a dummy firmware. It's got my key there. Now you want to open you you open target firmware, which is your iExtreme 1.5. Now you want to spoof source to target, which all you're really doing is putting your key down in that firmware and that other information. You're spoofing all that information in there. That's done. That information is in there now. Now save to file. I just put it in the same thing. You'll note the file name is light underscore CFW. Click save. Now, you should have all that. As long as you have that information, your inquiry key and identify, as long as you've got them three files, you should be able to get it saved. It shouldn't be a problem if you do it in DOS. If you didn't build your dummy file, you need to use those three and build that dummy file and do this step I just did where you flat you spoof it in to the iExtreme 1.5 with your key and your spoof information but at this point you probably went to here and went to light on erase it pops up an a error message you know asking you to make sure you want to do it you say yes It'll pop up a second one. At the second one, right after you click yes, you're supposed to power cycle the drive really quick within a second. So you click yes and cycle it off on. And right now the computer appears to be locked up. The mouse won't move. It's froze up. It's trying to do its thing. It should, in just a second, return that it didn't work that it failed. There it's telling me the intro failed and now the computer will lock up again. It just locked up again. Now at this point it's locked up. It won't eject. It won't go in or out. It's done. So what you have to do is get back in it with DOS. So what I do is I unpower and unmount. I pull the SATA cable out and disconnect it from the computer altogether. I'm going to go on and close the DVD drive. 
the power's been, I turned the power off and then unplugged everything. As soon as my computer, once it unmounts, it should come back and start going. Alright, there it unmounted. So what we're going to do now is we need to build, I'm just going to use iPrep because it's a program most all y'all know. So we're going to build a boot flash drive with iPrep. Just load in any firmware, any of your Samsungs or whatever, it don't matter. We're not going to use it, you're just using it to boot. Put a patch and patch MTK flash. Pick your drive, which mine's G, format make bootable, prepare destination. All this is going to do is give us a DOS flash to boot off of. Once that's done, go into that flash you've just made and throw out everything that don't have to do with DOS. Throw out the backup, CFW, tools, DSAM, FSAM, RSAM. Throw all those out. Now, you want to move in from that folder wherever you made your light on. custom firmware your light underscore CFW that's got all your information in it you want to put that on the flash then also you want to put everything that's in the iExtreme 1.5 folder DOS folder if you open the iExtreme 1.5 this is in here the jungle flasher firm tool the DOS folder you want to open that and copy everything that's in there onto the root of that flash drive also. Now you want to boot off of the flash. Just boot off of your USB flash just like it was iPrep. And just click yes. Now plug your SATA back in your DVD drive and turn it on. Now at this point you want to do this just like this. At right here you want to type in L space or dash L dash O dash E R A S dot E X E space your port, which my port is DD60. Most everybody's is going to be different, but that's what you put in. Your space and then your port. Enter. It'll give you FF80. Do the exact same thing. L dash O dash E R A S dot E X E space D D six zero for your port. Enter. Now it give me a FF72. That's exactly what we wanted. At this point, you want to turn off your drive power and type in DOS flash, D O S F L A S H, and hit enter. It's going to list the drives and all that's in your computer. Now, number six is my drive, and it's asking about MTK and resending it. You want to hit yes. Now, turn your drive back on. and it's all mounted. Now you want to tell it what drive you're going to be messing with, which of course is 6. 
for me, for everybody else, it'll be different depending on how many drives you've got. Right here, it's asking what you're wanting to do. What do you want want to do? Literally, type R to read, W to write, E to erase. Well, we want to erase first, so hit E, enter. It's erasing the drive. Once you get back to the prompt, cut the power off again. Type in DOS flash, enter. You want to hit Y for yes to resend the MTK. At this point, you want to power the drive back on. Once again, tell it what drive number you're wanting to affect, which we're wanting to do six again. It's asking what we want to do this time. This time we're wanting to write, which is W, W, enter. Now it's wanting to enter the firmware name, which is light underscore CFW dot bin. That's the name of that hacked file we built and moved on to the flash. So hit enter. It double checks the erasing. Now it starts writing the banks. Very similar to the BenQ. Got four banks at a right. Once you get back to the C prompt, it should be done. Turn the power off. Unplug everything. I'm going to hook it back up into 360 real quick just to make sure. And once again, I'd just like to offer a big thanks for everybody involved that made this possible for these light-on drives. It's spinning up. The drive did eject, of course. You probably heard it. I put the backup game in it. It read it, and there's the game. So that's it.